think about let's go back really big because i know this is you're so good <laughs> let's at go that big, yeah. yeah in the very so long ago in evolution we had these genes yeah. and you they wanted to make copies of themselves that's really all they cared about so they some genes said hey i'm going to build a brain on this body i'm in so that I, yeah. I can get better at making copies of myself yes. and then they decided for their benefit to get copied more to align your brain's incentives with their incentives so it didn't want you to starve to death, so it gave you an incentive to eat. Yes. And it it wanted you to make copies of, of the genes. So it gave you incentive to fall in love and do all sorts of naughty things <laughs> to, to, to make copies of, it, of, of itself, right? Yeah. Uh, so that was successful value alignment done on the genes. Mm -hmm. They created something more intelligent than themselves, but they made sure to try to align the values. Mm -hmm. But then something went a little bit wrong against the idea of what the genes wanted because a lot of humans discovered, hey, you know, yeah, we really like this business about sex uh, that the genes have made us enjoy, but we don't want to have babies right now. Yeah. So we're going to hack the genes yeah. and use birth control. Yeah. And I really feel like drinking a Coca-Cola right now, but I don't want to get a pot belly, so I'm going to drink Diet Coke. You know, yeah. we, we have all these things we've figured out because we're smarter than the genes, how we can actually subvert their intentions. So, so it's not surprising that this, we humans now, when we're in the role of these genes, creating other non-human entities mm -hmm. with a lot of power, have to face the same exact challenge. How do we make other powerful entities have incentives that are aligned with ours and that so they won't hack them? 